So the date value function is what we're going to look at right now. And all it does is take a date and return the serial number that represents that date. So Google Sheets really just looks at dates as serial numbers, but you don't always see that because they might be formatted as a date. So I'll type in date value. And you either need to type in the value of the date in quotes or reference a cell. And in this case, I'm going to look at the date in A1. And that's all. That's the only argument this function wants. And it's already telling me the answer, 42,795. So when you add 1 to March 1st, it'll give you March 2nd, which is really 42,796. So let me close off the formula with the parentheses and hit enter. And there, it just gives you the serial number. Now, that, now you may think that that's not super useful, but I'll show you what we can do with it. Let's copy it down to th these next two lines. This is just going to show us that Sheets accepts these dates as valid and it knows how to figure them out, but it's going to give you an error if you didn't put it in right. Sheets can't figure out March 1st. It doesn't know what the ST means and it's going to give you an error. And if you look, I just left clicked in there and it's telling me that, hey, I can't figure out March 1st. So I'm going to show you that these values here that are just numbers are how Sheets works with dates. And one way to visualize that is to change the format to date. Okay, so it's the same thing. It's 3117. If I do Control Z to undo that, it's 42795. Why does this matter? What, what does doing date value accomplish? Well, let's say, for example, that you have a spreadsheet like this. And this is a really typical, simple example I pull off the web of data that you might be working with at your job. And if you have to sort this data, you do this all the time, right? You want to see it chronological. I'm going to select it. I'm going to leave the header out because I don't want to sort that. I'll select this range. And I'll go to the menu, I'll do sort that range by column A. And what I'm expecting is column A will be sorted chronologically. So January 6th should come first, May 5th should come last. And if I do this sort, it didn't work the way I expected. So you look at the end and the January 23rd should be second in line. The way to figure this out beforehand is to use the date value function. I'll show you what I mean. We put it in here to check all of these before we sort it. So we'll just do date value on the first cell, which is A4. Then I'm going to go into that cell again. I'm going to drag it down to the bottom, which just puts that formula in every cell and adjusts the range. So this one's looking at A5, A6. Every time this function returns a number, you know the date's valid because Sheets can figure it out and it gives you the serial number that represents the date. If it returns an error, you know there's something wrong with the date. So each one that gives you an error, you can go in and look at it and see what's wrong with it, fix it, and it'll sort right. You may think you can just do this visually, but it could be a lot easier with the date value function because you could do something like data conditional formatting and let's apply it to the range of uh, column B. Let's just make up something here. Let's just do, hey, if it's between zero and 100,000, format it as green. We'll leave it the default and say done. Now if we move out of here and we'll go back and break one of these dates again, and this is gonna pop up really easily. This is a way for you to check beforehand to make sure the dates are good. You could even use this as a validation to kick out values. Play around with it. Hope it's helpful to you.